and a lot of evidence supports this theory that the Earth's moon formed in a large collision, probably only one collision, between the Earth and a Mars-sized object very early, within 60 million years of the Earth really accreting and differentiating into a core and a mantle. That's a big event in Earth history. We know from Mercury, from the Moon, that there were many large impacts in the early solar system. When you look at the Moon and you see these big dark patches that are roundish, those are impact basins, huge impact basins that are filled with lava from inside the Moon. So we can use the Moon as a measuring rod for the impact history of the Earth and all of the inner planets. And of course, we're familiar with the asteroid that hit the Earth 65 million years ago, causing a huge crater in the Caribbean. Evidence from this impact has been found around the world as a thin sedimentary layer called the Cretaceous Paleogene Boundary, or KPG for short. Geologists discovered that this layer is rich in metallic elements like iridium that are rare on the crust and mantle of the Earth because they've been concentrated in the core, but they're common in asteroids and comets because those bodies haven't formed a core. The reason the geologists made that distinction between the Cretaceous period and the Paleogene is this huge change in the nature of life itself. Where mammals take over and most of the dinosaurs disappear. The ammonites in the ocean are gone, but more importantly at the plankton level, the, the small, small creatures, the small life forms, which make very nice sediments that are datable, it's like a knife edge in the record of life itself. As a result of a cosmic collision, an accident really, something that happens every so often, and we hope doesn't happen to us.